This is the Kangiten Shrine in Mino Mountain. This red banner here says something about Daikokuten, which is Shiva, Mahakala. And this shrine is dedicated to Kangiten, Ganesha. Here is a sacred space marked in the Kangiten Shrine. One of these stones here is said to be the stone upon which Kangiten, the deity itself, sat upon. Long time ago, here in Mino Mountain. I assume it's probably this larger one. Mossy, large one. It looks like a seat. And you see the tree has the Shimenawa on it. And a marker here. It's a little hard to see the inscription completely. Someone's left a couple of coins here on the stone. You'll see this shrine here is to Dai Kokuten in Sanskrit Mahakala, which is a form of Shiva. You see the kanji there, Dai Kokuten. Dai means large or great or big. Koku is black. Ten means divine. And that hammer, the mallet. It's on is a symbol of Daikokuten here in Japan, the form of Shiva we would call Mahakala in Sanskrit. And over here you can see on this cute little sign the seven lucky gods, including Benzaiten in the center. Here is the main hall for Kangiten here in Mino Mountain. And you'll see here, right here, is a place where they have their own fire rituals from time to time. Their own Goma ritual of fire sacrifice here in this location. Yeah, do you hear the Uguisu singing? Some emblem of Kangiten you'll find. In Japan are these radishes, the two daikon, two radishes, and the pouch, the uh, wealth pouch or money pouch or coin purse. Yeah, symbols of the masculine and the feminine. In India, they didn't they they didn't have uh, elephants in Japan, so when Indian Ganesha came to Japan. They substituted the daikon, I think because it bears a resemblance to Ganesha's tusks or a lingam type of symbol. But there's two cross there, and the money pouch or coin purse represents the feminine aspect of Daisho Kangiten, the Shiva Shakti, the Yin Yang, masculine, feminine. Yeah. The image here is kept hidden or enclosed. It's impossible to see the image of Kangiten here. It's considered Hibutsu, a sacred image to be kept sacred and enclosed. You'll see the incense burner before the Kangiten shrine is in the shape of a coin purse or a money pouch. And you'll see the lanterns also have the symbols of the coin purse, the feminine, and the two radishes. Here they are interlocked almost like mandrake roots with legs. 
interconnecting. And this is a shrine to Kangita or Nandikeshvara in India, we would say Ganesha or Ganapati, Vinayaka, Vinayaka. It's really not possible to see the inside because of the reflection right now, but it's enclosed inside a cupboard in there the sacred image of Daisho Kangita and the dual Kangita. It's a little hard to see, but inside the shrine you will see maybe you can see the enclosure, the lingam-like enclosure in which Kangiten resides inside the enclosed shrine. It's kind of a cylinder shape with golden crest on top, flanked on both sides by something I can't quite make it out through the, the glass. And there are ritual implements in there for worship. So just before we leave the Kangiten Shrine, we'll chant the mantra for Kangiten. So I'm going to ring the, the little bell here and chant the Kangiten mantra. Om Kiriku Gyaku Un Sovaka 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 It really is a lovely place here This Kangiten shrine in Mino It really is a lovely place here in Mino Mountain. That was quite, quite a event, seeing the Yamabushi Goma ritual, the fire ritual, the procession and the fire ceremony. I hadn't seen a ceremony quite like that before in all my time in Japan. On the way back, I thought I'd stop here at the Kangiten Shrine uh, here in Mino Mountain you'll see behind me and the banner here lets you know this is without a doubt the Mino Kangiten shrine here it's a very significant shrine it said that uh, this is the first place Kangiten was worshipped in Japan it's hard to tell with all these old legends but that's what uh, we've heard and what we've been told this is the oldest continuous place of worship for Kangiten in Japan and after that fire uh, ritual with uh, mountain ascetics which is uh, fascinating its own sect which is uh, uh, Buddhist but also you'll notice in the video the Tori gate which you associate with Shinto tradition but in the in that ritual the and the Yamabushi it's a mixture of Shinto and Buddhist you saw the Tori gate uh, and there are Buddhist mantras but also here at the Kankiten shrine it's 
Buddhist, but there's also a Shinto Tori gate here. This is something that we associate in Japan with Kangiten specifically, or as he's called, Shoten san. So it's fascinating the more we dig uh, with our devotion to Ganesha and the Hindu gods and discovering them here in Japan in their own, uh, their own unique uh, configurations and aspects and attributes. Yeah. So it was quite an adventure. And thank you for watching this. I'm going to edit this at home. I've got ashes all over me from the fire ceremony. They say this is lucky. Yeah, so someone else gave me some wet pieces, wet pieces of paper that were uh, hanging from the rope that was marking off the sacred space around the fire. They said it was good luck. So uh, there was a nice guy who gave that to me. So uh, he said it was good luck. So I'll take those home, those pieces of wet paper. And uh, I hope to have another video for you again, something interesting about Japan, mysticism, Hinduism, Tantra, and the occult. Until next time, Om Shanti.